Here we have a truly museum quality, outstanding example of an, of an Acheulean Homo erectus hand axe story stone face and mammoth effigy from Sub-Sahara Africa. This is a monumental example that will tell us now that the etching of flake stone to make a design, in this case, the hair of the mammoth, notice the hair above the, above the eye, which is the hair above the head of the baby mammoth facing right. It's a semicircular design. And then we have hair down here beneath the mammoth flowing this way. And then we have other hair on the back of the mammoth that's been etched there. A beautiful, outstanding etched example of story stone etching on flake stone going back at least 500,000 years. Imagine that. Now, I have some examples coming from the Rift Valley in Israel that are dated to Oldowan, which might make them go back to 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3 million years ago. But this is at least 500,000 years old. And this etching down here, down here is outstanding. Sweeps all the way through there. Notice it goes there and then it intersects here, which, and this area has all been etched this way. And then, of course, to accent the hair above the eye uh, that flares up on a baby mammoth, that's what they wanted there. They've, they've done the semicircular there that's flared out there. And, of course, the eye has been etched as well. So what we have is a, just an outstanding example. I just recently purchased this uh, from a Frank Bergevin anthropologist in uh, New York. And uh, as you can see, March 4th. And he has there, this is to certify that this is an Acheulean hand axe at 1.2 million to 500,000 years before present, uh, purchased by Richard Dempsey, is authentic and is certified as authentic, guaranteed for life. Um, it, it is a marvelous, outstanding hand, uh, hand axe effigy of uh, Homo erectus at 500,000 years. Check that out. That, that is just etching at its best. Now then, this, this has been flaked on a flake, and on this side we have two major flake strikes. Then it's made out of a light gray chert, but the light gray, light, light gray quartzite, very fine grain quartzite. Light gray, been flaked all the way around. There's no modern damage on it at all. The, uh, the flaking, uh, the, of course the device is there whenever you have uh, devices like flaking, they're protected from the patina because this would have been laying flat like this in the dirt for a long time. And we'll see that it's patinated on the other side as well. But this was a light gray um, quartzite and it's patinated to a dark gray almost, and then brown color. It's actually gotten a brown tinge to it in certain areas. Uh, and that's all ancient patina there nothing modern on the piece. And then when we hold it this way, we have a great face. Here's the eye of the face, the nose, and the mouth down below looking off to the right. That's the young face. We have the old face with the eye and the big sweeping and the big nose, Romanesque nose, with the mouth down here looking off to the left. Then when we look at it this way, now instead of a baby mammoth, we have a more mature mammoth here with this, the big sweeping trunk coming down to the left and the tapered back and the face looking up from the back of the mammoth and also a face looking down from the, from the mammoth. So that's a mature mammoth now facing left. So mature mammoth facing left and this way it's a, a th th this image is, we have seen over and over and over again. This is the baby mammoth with its stunted trunk off to the right. Just outstanding uh, paleo story stone, a Shulian story stone. We have another face here. Here's the eye, nose, and mouth down there to the left. And then we have another face off to the right. So great, and of course this is the hair on the head and Excellent etching, 500,000 years ago. Now you see it's on a flake here, 
And uh, so <laughs> this side is etched as well. Check it out. Very important that this side is etched because we, otherwise somebody might say, oh, well, that's just the uh, surface of the stone or some kind of cortex. No, uh -uh. this is a flake that's been flaked off of a large piece of rock and it's been etched on this side as well. Uh, and then we have a, a mature mammoth with this, the eye right here, this brown inclusion that comes up through the whitish uh, area. That uh, that would probably be the eye. Of course, it's so patinated, it's hard to really tell. But the, I would say suggest that's the eye with the hair around the eye and the big sweeping trunk now off to the left. And then when we view it this way, we have faces. We have the eye, nose, and mouth of a young face off to the right. And then we have an older face off to the left, using this as the eye. And then when we hold it this way, a great baby mammoth with its hair tuft right here. And now we have the baby mammoth. What a great baby mammoth with this being the eye. And we have the hair tuft up above the head, now facing right. This is just an outstanding Acheulean, Homo erectus, or likely Homo erectus since it's from Africa, uh, Paleo. Well, it's a Julian, Homo erectus, story stone face and mammoth effigy that's been etched all over the surfaces, dating the etching technique in, used in flake stone artistry back to at least 500,000 years before present. How about that? What a great discovery piece.